Hello! Hi y'all! Good morning! I hope y'all are having a beautiful day. I'm having a beautiful day but it's a little bit rainy. <laughs> so rainy days are cozy days, right? So I'm on my way to the library because that's my definition of coziness. Before moving forward, I want to tell you guys this video was brought to you by Squarespace. <laughs> no, 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 no. I was just telling you a line from Flying the Nest videos. What I want to tell you is this video was taken on last November or December. So just don't mind me saying I won't be able to upload new videos in next week because I have my exams. Like things say, okay? Because I had my finals exam months back. And I did it well, I think. First off, I went to the British Council Library to drop off the books that I borrowed from the last week because in the coming weeks I won't be able to read because I have exams. So full two weeks of exams, no reading. I think I won't be able to upload new videos as well. But let's see, I'm trying my best. And uh, now I'm on the way to the Lakmaha Community Library. I had to work on being consistent more often. As we speak about being consistent, consistency is the key to achieving success in anything you do. It's not about being perfect, but rather showing up every day and putting up the effort. Whether it's a workout routine, a business plan, or a personal goal, consistency is what separates those who achieve from those who don't. Remember, Rome wasn't built in one day. Stay consistent, stay committed, and success will follow. And don't forget consistency is not just about what you do, but also how you do it. Make sure you are consistent in your approach, your attitude and your focus. This will help you stay on track and achieve your goals. So this video is from me to myself and for you all. Hope you will enjoy. By the way, you might have already noticed that we are closer to 500 subscribers which is a great achievement for me. Thank you so much for subscribing and watching my videos always. If you haven't subscribed yet, hit that subscribe button, like this video, leave me a comment to read. Back to the business. Today, I'm at the Lakmahal Community Library. I have done a specific video about this library including the membership fee, who can visit the library, what kind of books are available, where is this located and all. I will add the link in the description below, you can go and check it out. Apart from that, if you have any more questions, feel free to drop them in the comment section or send me a message via Instagram. When I was a kid, I used to read a lot of books. I borrow a book from my school library in the morning and while teacher is in the class, I used to keep it under the desk and read the book. Then by the time the school ends, I finish the book somehow and borrow another book to take back home. I was that fascinated by books. Then later found out my mom loves reading, my younger brother loves reading. Sometimes me and my brother fight over books. The books I used to read as a kid took me into another world. Every day before I sleep, I close my eyes and imagine a lot of stuff about how I'm gonna be successful one day, about all my celebrity crushes, about embarrassing things happened in my life and how it would change if I acted differently. Reading made my imagination grow, my vocabulary grow. I learned a lot of things from the books. On side note, how much I imagined about my future and my life as a kid, I have never imagined myself doing YouTube. That came out of nowhere and I'm forever grateful for that because because of YouTube I got to know this beautiful community. There are a lot of freaking mosquitoes there so I cannot sit down there because I will be their dinner. <laughs> so I shifted the place. Since it's raining, I think there are a lot, lot of people in the library today, but there are some girls out there. So I just came outside so I can talk to you a little bit. Now I'm reading the uh, story. 
to sell Philip with Love by Julia Quinn. Uh, it's one of the books in the Bridgerton series. So Paul series is available in the li- uh, community library. Uh, if you prefer, you can come and read them. I mean, not only the Bridgerton series, there are a lot of series and there are lots of good books that you can find in other libraries and in other shops as well. Then I left the Black Mahal Community Library because I had some plans to meet some of my friends. I came to Haiti at Golfest Hotel Colombo. The last time I visited here was December 2021 with my best friend and my siblings. I cannot exactly remember how much we paid for the Haiti here, but I think it's around 3000 or 3500 But you can call the hotline and check the prices. Also, put a booking before you go there. The Haiti had a variety of sweet and savory items. The panini was my favorite and it was my first time trying panini as well. If you are a vegan or a vegetarian, I don't think this is the best option for you because they didn't have much of vegan or vegetarian options available. There were two or three beverage options as well and iced coffee and some kind of juice. I know this is not a very comprehensive Haiti review, that is because I'm just documenting my life and this is not a food review video. I could not take a lot of footage of the food as well, you know I'm bad at it. That is the main reason I cannot do this Haiti review or food review videos as well. As soon as I see food, I can't wait to try the first bite. Once I take the first bite, I can't wait to take the second bite. And it goes on. And my friends, you might already be wondering how I'm finding these beautiful background sounds. If you are a YouTuber, you might already know how hard it is to find royalty-free music for your videos. I was struggling at first, but then I found out about Thematic. They have a beautiful connection of music that you can use in your videos, not only in YouTube, but also in your Instagram Reels, TikTok videos as well. They have a paid version, but you can use it for free as well. So I have a link in my description for you to check. After spending our time in Golfes Hotel, we came to the Columbus City Centre Mall to go bowling. It was a very crowded, I think it's because it's the weekend. Today was a very fun and happy day which I really enjoyed. If you are watching up to this end of this video, I hope you enjoy it and subscribe to my channel and leave me a comment to read. It is what keeps me going and motivates me in my YouTube journey. So thank you so much and have a good day.